Hi and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm featuring products from the latest card kit by Simon's Stamp. And the kit this month includes this wonderful paper pad along with a big stamp set with windows and lovely sentiments. There are uh, envelopes, a page with sticker sentiments that you can use on your cards. There are three markers from the distress line. These work exactly like uh, watercolor markers. And there are more bits and pieces in the kit including ties. And if you want to win this card kit, make sure to visit my blog and leave a comment there. For today, instead of using the stamp set and other bits and pieces from the card kit, I decided to work exclusively with the pattern paper. The paper pad included in the kit has lovely designs, perfect for spring, and I'm going to use my deckled edge trimmer to cut out a couple of panels. I'm using this beautiful flower paper and I will use another one that matches the pink of these flowers. This paper trimmer is going to give a very interesting edge on my panels and I'm going to place that on top of the card base that I created using the craft cardstock so you can see probably the detail and I'm going to use one more pattern here just trying to pick which pink I'm going with I think this is very pale but it could work as well so I decided to go with this one just because it is uh, brighter if you don't have this paper trimmer, just use your paper trimmer, your regular one, and cut out the panels, and you can work with that. If you want to get a similar edge, then just use your scissors along the edge to distress them. The design that I'm going for is based on layers, so I'm going to use my scissors to cut out a few slits on three of the sides, and then uh, this way I will be able to curl up the paper and when I place those two panels one on top of the other you will be able to see the color peeking through from those slits. This design works with any paper pad that you have at home. By having a paper pad you know that all the um, different papers match together, they have similar colors, so it's easy for you to layer them one on top of the other, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. However, I made sure that one of the panels has a busy pattern, the one with the flowers, while the other one is pretty much solid. And you can see that when I layer one on top of the other, I can see the pink coming through. Now, the next step is completely optional. If you want to turn this into looking more uh, vintage, then you can go and ink up the edges. I'm going to do that with my blending tool and ink up the edges of both the panels just slightly by using my Distress ink. This is the original ink, which goes more vibrant. And the color is Vintage Photo, of course. One of my favorite and a go-to, probably the most used uh, Distress ink I have in my stash for years. I did go ahead and inked up the edges of my craft card base as well and now I'm going to use the scraps from that uh, 6x6 pattern paper with the flowers and I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut some of the leaves and some of the flowers. In terms of design, if you are recreating this with another paper pad, then when you pick your busy pattern paper, then look at what is the design on top of that. If it's flowers, you can cut out flowers like I'm doing here. If it is cupcakes, for example, you can fuzzy cut a few of those. If it has, I don't know, little cuts, cut out a few cuts. Just look at the design and see what you can fuzzy cut from it. I'm going to put the card together. For that, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue. I'm going to stick the first panel on top of my card base on an angle. Then at the top, I'm going to again stick the other panel but this time with foam squares just to add some dimension and again I'm not going to align it with my card base this is going uh, on an angle as well and now wherever I have those slits I'm going to tuck inside my fuzzy cut images so I'm going to uh, stick underneath a couple of flowers as well as leaves this is going to add something extra on the card and at the same time, whatever you stick on top is going to match beautifully with the rest of the design. After all, it's part of the actual paper. This design is perfect for using up those beautiful pattern papers that you have been holding on to. Uh, it is going to be the um, star of the show here and I'm not going to cover it up. It's a beautiful pattern paper full of flowers. So I did add the interest with the slits and the things that are tucked inside and all I have to do now is to just stick a sentiment. For the sentiment I went with the two ties that were included in the card kit by Simon's Stamp. I cut out the outline from pink 
pattern paper, which is uh, from the same paper pad, so everything matches perfectly with the pinks in the flowers. And uh, I cut out the word beautiful from white cardstock, however I do ink up lightly both these pieces so that they match with the rest of the design. This is going to give a nice big bold sentiment, but at the same time it's not going to cover up that beautiful background. I do have foam tape at the back of my sentiment. And now I'm going to bring in the stickers and I will use the one that says hello friend. Instead of using the whole thing, I'm just going to use hello and tuck it underneath so that the whole thing reads hello beautiful. It is a lovely card, perfect to send as spring is coming. You can of course stop here if you want to make your card extra special, then you can add some gems. I'm going to add a few at the center of uh, some of the flowers and I'm even going to add some on the slits underneath. I always loved a lot playing with pattern paper. I still love it, although it's not trending. So I hope that this video was uh, inspiring for you to go grab whatever you have from your stars and create some lovely cards using the pattern papers that I'm sure you all have. And that was the project for today, using products from the latest card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Don't forget that I have a giveaway for this card kit. For a chance to win it, make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting and I'll see you all next time.